Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Zed from Zed Outdoors. Hope you're having a great day. So, we're all used to a bit of this, aren't we? The Paracool 550. This is the olive green. This is by a company in the UK called Webtex. Um, they do some pretty cool stuff, actually. So, if you're involved in the outdoors, you know the Paracord has like a million and one uses. Um, it's probably like a, an absolute necessity that you have that in your kit in, in some form or another. Um, a lot of the time people keep hanks of it, you know, little bits of it or whatever, or just tie it around other things like bottles or whatever. Uh, but Paracord is a very, very versatile piece of kit, you know. So, like I said, this is the standard olive green. It's quite a common colour. So the question is, what do you get if you cross some Paracord with a shotgun cartridge? Well, you get this device here. Check this out. So this is an actual container. So before you go ahead and think that I'm the correct behind this, uh, you're wrong. I actually bought this off a guy called Sean. He operates under the name of Skids Bushcraft. Uh, he's got a fantastic YouTube channel. He's based in the UK like myself. And I actually came across him um, by watching a video by Funky Prepper. So Funky Prepper, quite a well-known guy in the uh, YouTube community for the outdoors. Uh, awesome, awesome guy. I've learned a lot from him. And he's done a video a while ago. Uh, actually, just before Christmas, um, and um, he was talking about this. You know, he's done a video specifically about this. So, if you're not subscribed to Funky Prepper, I'll put a link to his channel below. Be sure to check him out and subscribe. Uh, so, thanks, Funky, for um, bringing this to my attention. Um, and subsequently, straight after the video, I went to his eBay shop, uh, Skids Bushcraft, had a look around, and the guy is an absolute genius when it comes to paracord. He just does some fantastic stuff. Uh, he does like a, a carry case for bed linen, for wool. Uh, pretty much anything you want, lanyards, and I saw this and I was like, you know what, I have to get myself one of these. So I went ahead and ordered one, um, and this came through the post. Now I was going to do a video, because I actually ordered this about a month ago. So this is actually my first ever video on the uh, YouTube channel for Z Outdoors. Um, so here you go, so obviously he's knitted this himself. Um, it's a shotgun cartridge, this one's like a yellow colour, I'm not sure if you can just see, just between the lanyard gaps there. So if you just open this up here, there you go, you can just see inside, so the lighting's a little bit off. Okay, so this is just the cap here, it's like a huge uh, shell. Um, and in here, I mean you can do some actual, you know, you can put some really, really cool stuff here. I mean it's not watertight, so just kind of bear that in mind. Uh, but you could put matches in here, you can put some cotton wool Vaseline for the purposes of fire starting. Um, it's really endless, you can put a battery in here. Um, you know, it's, it's really kind of just you're kind of limited by your own imagination. Uh, let me actually get a ruler. Let me actually give you the dimensions of that. Okay, you can see I was all prepared. All right, so let's just have a look here. So let's put the uh, cap back on. And let's actually do, let's do it in centimeters, okay? So, uh, so I'm just actually talking behind the camera, so it's a little bit difficult to see. So it's about, it's about five and a half centimetres, okay, and insert an innuendo there, so right, so it's about five and a half centimetres, what's the width of that, including the lanyard, it's about three and a half centimetres, you know, so it's a really, really nifty piece of kit, and like I said, you know, it's got a, it's got a good uh, handle here, so you can, you know, attach that to a rucksack, you attach that to your key fob, wherever you want, really, um, he's done a fantastic job in kind of putting this together, and I'll tell you one cool feature I really love, is this bit here. So obviously there's a danger that the lid can come off. But you've just done it in a way that there's a bit of lanyard that goes over to the top. And there you go. It's nice and secure. So like I said, it's not waterproof. However, it's an extremely robust piece of kit. And if anything, it's just a very cool thing to have. You know, see if you're into the aesthetic side of things. Um, so like I said, I mean, I'm not getting paid to do this review. I mean, it was just a fantastic piece of kit. That he's put together and I thought a lot of you guys will find it really really useful. He's based in the UK so I'm not sure if he ships abroad but what I'll do I'll put a link to his YouTube channel um, and eBay shop below the video and be sure to check him out uh, if you go ahead and order just mention my name just for the sake of it so at least he knows where you come from. Like I said I made absolutely nothing from this and he hasn't asked me to do it and I just wanted to thank him for something else as well because in the post because I mentioned I came from Funky Prepper it's a very very kind gesture he chucked in a lanyard, so that was, um, I didn't ask for it, I didn't order it, and uh, it was extremely kind, so Sean, if you're watching the video, thank you so much, very, very kind of you, so he's put like a, like a skull, sorry, the, sh the focus on this isn't the bestest camera, 
so yeah, he's put that on. So I'm going to attach that to my to my rucksack. Um, but thank you so much for that, Sean. And like I said, you know, Sean just does some amazing stuff. So it just shows a bit of ingenuity, thinking outside the box. I'm sure you know if you if you attempt to do it yourself, you can go ahead and learn how to make this. But just to kind of make you realise that when it comes to the outdoors, you can be quite innovative using a lot of stuff at your disposal. So I'm sure a lot of these cartridges just go to waste. So obviously, you know, Sean's just gone ahead and reused this. Um, and obviously use the power cord. And like I said, you can buy the power cord here pretty, pretty cheap. Um, and if you don't want to go ahead and <clears throat> do it yourself, then obviously Sean could do it for you uh, or whoever else. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to give a shout out to Sean and just show you with a bit of uh, ingenuity what you can do. Um, and that is what you get when you cross a shotgun cartridge with some power cord. So, um, if you like the video, then, or you've got any comments or suggestions of what other things you can do, then please comment below the video. Uh, and I want to thank you once again uh, for taking the time out to watch this video. If you haven't done so already, then please feel free to subscribe to my channel, Z Outdoors. And until next time, peace out.